Hey, J Bros popping in here. Uh, yeah, I'd say uh, I'd say something broke here. Um, I can't believe I didn't really notice that getting bad there, but uh, I was just digging into this pile here, flipping some stuff up, and bang, that thing just snapped right off. I'll have to take a peek at this other side. Yeah, I just frickin' snapped that, snapped that pin right off. Obviously, it was greased good and whatnot, but that must have uh, um, started to bend a little bit here, and I just didn't even notice it. But yeah, I guess that's gonna have to go in the shop. And then, you know, as I was mentioning earlier in a video, I suppose it was a little while ago now, a couple weeks ago. I was wondering if maybe this cylinder wasn't kind of going bad um, and maybe maybe this just seized up or or not I'm gonna play with it a little bit here but yeah anyway um, that's gonna have to go to the uh, to the welder but uh, yeah I'll, I'll pop back in here once I get it diagnosed uh... okay I uh, got this back to the shop and obviously, you know, as we know, this, this operates the same, same thing as up here. And I would have never thought that this pin, you know, because this holds in there. But you can see here it bent, bent this thing as well and snapped the screw, screw off in, in there. But I, I would just never have thought that I was going to be lifting hard enough on this to get it to go but I'm kind of guessing what probably end up happening here because my bucket is so big obviously it's over lifting but I wouldn't doubt it um the twisting of my bucket because it's you know obviously it's four foot wide and and long I think that might have just started it but I can't believe I didn't catch it but uh I, I was lifting some insanely um hard stuff into that into that dirt pile there at the end but yeah, the good part is I was just talking to a neighbor down the road and he does welding. So um, hopefully the goal would be heat this up and then probably um, get some strapping in here, whether it's um, down here or up here. I'll have to double check to see what clearance I have on on that to get that in there but yeah i mean other than that i mean i guess you know I, i'm not mad i'm not anything because for how much work this does i mean really this is the first time in you know 50 some hours that i've had any any sort of issues um this all looks good in here you know i've, I've kept this grease so this is you know this isn't like froze up or nothing so i mean i really didn't damage the the cylinder um you know like i said there is questions whether um, that is good or not. I mean, I suppose I could fire it up and test that, but I'll probably do that when I get this over, over to the guy to fix it. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty interesting, I guess. It just caught me off guard because all of a sudden pop and I'm like, oh no, what did I do? And then, yeah, but, uh, anyway, I'll probably just pop back in here in and, you know, show you down the road what, what I end up getting fixed and, and what we end up doing but to me it seems pretty tri seems pretty trivial just heat up the metal bend this back much like we did a oops much like we did up on this one and like i said maybe there's a good strap spot i'll just have to do it because i contemplated multiple times to put a strap on this but i've always kept an eye on it i'm like ah uh, you know where's it gonna go but i guess i need a strap for that too because i left too darn heavy uh, stuff but anyway that's what I got for you on this run. Uh, other than that, engine's running great, machine's running great. Uh, she needs a wash, but yeah, I'm not complaining. All right, got this uh, set up here uh, after talking with my dad. Got an excellent, excellent, quick, easy fix for this bent thing. And you know, after talking with dad, we still just couldn't believe that this thing uh, bent, but it did. But I'm gonna show you 
super quick, easy fix. And do this so you don't have to have yours bend. So I'm gonna quick set this up and show you exactly what I'm gonna do. And like I said, fortunately, nothing happened with the, uh, with the cylinder here at all. As I've mentioned before, I've got the metal strap up here. We've got the cross bracing here and the metal bracket back here. All that weld stuff all looks great. I'm gonna get this set up just to show you how fast you're gonna be able to reinforce your CRT or other mini skid and not have to run into my problem that I have right now. So I've already got this stuff prepped up and just show you how quick you're gonna be able to do this to stop yours from not even being able to bend like this. And like I mentioned before, I was, I was going to do this, but I was like, God, there's just no way in heck that this could bend because there's just, there's just no space here. You would just think, I mean, this is solid um, three eighths inch metal. That might even be half inch. I can measure that quick too. But I was thinking, there's just no way in heck that could ever bend. But I will show you the master plan here. Should have had my strap already set up for you. And this is just gonna allow me to hold the um, unit up. There we go. So all I'm gonna do, because this side here is straight and stuff like that. Let me get myself a little bit more slack. I'm gonna lock that down because I don't want that to move anymore. I'm just gonna hook this back up on the reinforced. Uh, maybe. You know, actually it might actually just be easier for me to show you I'm just trying to figure out so I can get you a good spot here. Maybe I'll pop back in quick and I'll get this strapped up. That way you don't have to look at that silliness. All right, I got this set up in a great spot for you. So basically, here was the thought. Much like up here, we have this side strap here or side metal piece. And like I said again, I never thought this thing was gonna be able to bend. So I just had a piece of square metal like this, and my dad was like, yeah, some side support. So right here to there. And what that does is allows you on this back side, see that nice weld? You could drop, drop a line in there, and of course you'd still have enough edge from the pin to go through, and you'd still be able to put a nice weld there. So all I did, because I had this one, and I basically had another identical piece because I was doing it at a different spot. I just took and cut that in half. So this will actually make it look like it belongs there. So all this is going to do is sit right there beautifully like it belongs. This will support this area along each side, making this impossible to fold over like that. If this is here basically makes it impossible for that to fold over like that. So also to double dip on the extra reinforcement because I lift too much and I got too big of a bucket for the machine, I'm gonna take this strap right here, which the visual up here, I added this strap to keep this together because we're like, okay, well that still doesn't 100% stop it from uh, Spreading apart, I've got this cut, and here's the size. You can see I've already cut that to width, and I haven't painted this yet. But there, this strap will get put right up here once that gets bent back. So there's no way this is bending. Now, if you didn't want to go that route with this little strap up here, you could probably take and add another metal piece right here. And see, that still avoids that pin. Now on this side, yep, you'd be able to do this on this side too because this pin is actually down there. So you could technically brace here and brace here. Um, 
So I guess those are two ways to do it. I'm probably just gonna go this way here on this side, same on the other side, and then just put a strap right here. So I don't know, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Cause you know, so what some other guys did as well on this upper weld here, they had actually metaled this whole thing in with a plate from like, let's say here to here. Talk about money because that's totally not gonna go anywhere again. But I guess, you know, my pain, your gain. So basically what I need to do at this point, I just gotta bring this to either my brother-in-law with a settling torch or another guy, get this uh, red hot and then bend this back. And then of course get this red hot here, bend this back. And then I'll just polish this up a little bit because as it came out, it kind of scarred this here a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I've got going on here. Total bummer that it happened to me how it happened to me. But guess what? Once again, before yours does what mine does, just go ahead and drop this in here. And then drop a strap here. And you will not have this issue. The reason why I didn't do this the first time, I was like, there's just no way that could spread. But guess what? It did. And my pain is your gain. So I'll do another separate video when I get uh to getting this somebody that can heat this up and bend this back for me and i'll show you the finished project but yeah please like subscribe comment down below let me know if there's any different uh things you would do in this situation but like i said my cylinder and all that stuff is still intact that just split it just still shocks the crap out of me but anyway please like subscribe comment down below j bros out